right, we're gonna look at trig today, everybody. Yay. So this is sine, cosine, and tangent. And we're gonna set these up in this way. So the first thing you're gonna do when you see a right triangle to do trig, everybody should have their phones down now. You should be paying attention. I'm teaching you something brand new. Okay, so when we're looking at trig, we have to do, we have to use a right triangle to do sine, cosine, and tangent, okay? So once we figure out that it's a right triangle, the second thing I recommend doing is circling the degree. Okay, and then we're gonna label each of the sides. They're either gonna be opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. So what is five for this triangle? Is it the opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Hypotenuse, so I'm gonna just put a little H. What is X, opposite or adjacent? X, adjacent, because it's next to it. And Y doesn't touch those angles at all, so that is the opposite, okay? So we're gonna use two out of the three of them to solve each one, okay? For finding X, we're gonna use X and five. We need a number to be able to do it. So one, we have to have one side of the triangle, at least, to do this. So if we're using adjacent hypotenuse, we're going to use cosine. And I like to write Sokotoa at the top of my paper to remember. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Sokotoa. So I go cosine of the angle, so cosine of 48, equals the adjacent x over the hypotenuse 5. I like to actually skip this step and just multiply both sides by 5. These cancel, and when I hit 5 cosine 48, I get 3.34 centimeters. What is the other step? The other step is to just put cosine of 48 in there first, which I feel like that the more buttons you push on your calculator, the more mistakes you make. So if you just put 5 cosine 48 in, instead of cosine 48 and then times that by 5, I think we're better off. And if we want to find y, we would use sine, because I've got opposite and hypotenuse. So we go sine of 48 equals y over 5. So then again, I would just, I would multiply both sides by 5 and skip this step again and get 3.71. You can use tangent to do it, but I wouldn't do it in that way. Okay, we're actually gonna skip number one and go to number two. They're set up for you, and I think setting it up is the most important part. So let's look at number two. So let's talk about what I talked about. What's the first thing? Is it a right triangle? Yes or no? Yes. Where's my angle? 43 degrees, right? What is 10 to 43 degrees? Is it opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? It is adjacent. And what is X? Opposite. Okay, which one, sine, cosine, or tangent, has an O and an A with it? So if we look at Sokotoa, which one has an O and an A? Sine, cosine, or tangent? So we're going to go tangent 43 equals opposite, which is X, over adjacent, which is 10. Yep. How are we doing with that? This is where everybody needs a calculator because you can't do tan of 43 in your head. So if you don't have one, grab a calculator. Yep. Or I can show you how to bypass that.
Okay. So, I'm going to show you how we put this in our calculator. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got to get x by itself, correct? So let's start with that. What am I going to do to get x by itself, guys? You times both sides by 10. I'll show you that in just a second. So you get 10 tan 43 equals x. 10 tan 43 equals x. So this is what, hold on, I'm trying to, there we go. Um, okay. Okay, so here is what your calculator is going to look like right here. No, oh, it did not like that. All right. So if we're on our home screen of our calculator, you're going to open up a calculator page like this. And we're going to put 10. And then we're going to hit the trig button. Do you guys see the trig button? It's right next to the 7. And we're going to hit tan. And then hit 43. Do you guys want me to show you that again? So you type in 10. You hit the trig button, which is right next to 7. You scroll over to 10, tan, excuse me, or tangent, and type in 43. And then you're just going to push enter. And you should get x equals 9 point, let's, let's round up to 9.33 centimeters. So that gives us the length of x this gives us right here. Now, if you got a different answer, we're going to go back to the home screen. We'll go to settings. We'll go to document settings. And your angles need to be in degrees. And then you need to make it the default. Yes, OK. OK, because if it's in radians, you get a totally different answer. OK, so make sure you're getting the same answer as me, and before we take our quiz, we'll do a check to make sure everybody's is in degrees. Okay? All right. So we're going to go back to our paper. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so we get 9.33 centimeters. And that is the length of X. Let's turn it over and do a couple more in the back. Let's look at number three. Is this a right triangle? Yes. What am I circling? X7 or 48? 48, because that is my angle. What is X to 48? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? What is X? Adjacent. It's next to it. It connects with that. So what is 7? Hypotenuse. OK. So if we're looking at Sokotoa, A and H goes with sine, cosine, or tangent? Cosine. Good. So we go cosine of the angle, 48, equals the adjacent, so that's x, over 7. So then we go 7 cosine 48 equals x. And I need somebody to do this for me because my calculator just died. What is 7 cosine 48? So x equals 4.68 centimeters. And it's not the area, it's the length, right? So it's not squared. That's a great question. So again, we're looking at sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So let's look at number four using that. So first I'm going to, it's a right triangle, I'm going to circle 70 degrees, I'm going to label y is the what? Adjacent. 
and 12 is the hypotenuse. Okay, see how sine doesn't ha has an O and an H, so it can't be sine. Tangent has an O and an A, so it can't be tangent. But cosine has an A and an H, so that's how we know it's cosine. Cosine 70 equals Y over 12. So we multiply both sides by 12, right? This 12 cancels. And what's 12 cosine 70 in your calculator? Again, mine is dead, so 4.1 centimeters. Questions? Let's do some more together so you can do this for your homework. Let's look at number five. We've got 39 degrees. Y is the opposite. Eight is the hypotenuse. So which one has O and H in it? Sine. So sine of 39 equals Y over eight. So we get eight sine 39 equals Y. So Y equals what do you guys get? Five point zero three centimeters. How are we feeling? Okay. I am going to do seven. Now I'm using fifty six, but I've got three things here. But I've got to find x, so I've got to use x for one of them. So x is the hypotenuse. So I need to know the hypotenuse. Let's say I'm given, um, I'm going to use the adjacent for this one, or the opposite. I'm going to use the opposite. So what uses opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. So I've got the sine of 56 equals the opposite, 6 goes on top. Hypotenuse x goes on bottom. Uh-oh. I can't just multiply both sides by 6, right? That doesn't work. What do I do? How do I get the x off the bottom? You can do the reciprocal, but I would multiply both sides by x. Watch how this happens. So I get x sine 56 equals 6, and then I would divide both sides by sine of 56. So I, get, I have to put in my calculator 6 over sine of 56, yeah? So I multiplied both sides by x. It gave me x sine 56 equals 6. I divided both sides by sine of 56. So that gave me 6 divided by sine of 56. And what do I get when I put it in my calculator? 7 point, what? 2, 4 centimeters. Should we try another one where we have to divide by x like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's look at number 8. Here's 51. We have to find x. x is the hypotenuse. Let's use 4 in this case. 4 is the adjacent. What uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Cosine. So cosine of 51 equals the adjacent 4, or the, for the hypotenuse x. Now that I have x on the bottom, what do I do now? Multiply both sides by x. x cancels here, and I have x cosine 51 equals 4. What do I do now to get x by itself? Divide by cosine 51. Are we feeling a little bit better about that? Okay, so I put 4 cosine 51 in my, 4 divided by cosine 51 in my calculator, and what do I get? 6.36 centimeters. Okay, so I think that we've got a pretty good amount of examples there for sine, cosine, tangent, how to figure those guys out, even when you have x on the bottom instead of a number. So I feel pretty confident giving you guys time to work on your homework to do this. Anybody have questions before I stop the recording? You do not have to do the last problem in the classwork if you don't want to.
Okay. I'm stopping it. <laughs>